Welcome on back to Skippers today. We are going to be looking at prospects you need to be stashing in your redraft fantasy baseball leagues. Paul Skeens is going to be left off this list because uh, most casual fantasy baseball players know who he is and his roster percentage is too high. But the four I have chosen in this video are some of the best stash options, I think, and guys that I think can be called up to the big leagues uh, within the next month or so. Today, as always, this video is brought to you by FanDuel Canada. As long as you have funds in your account, you can watch every Major League Baseball game directly in their app. Let's get into my four favorite prospects to stash. We begin with Junior Caminero of the Tampa Bay Rays. Caminero has some of the best raw power in the minor leagues. And with great raw power comes fantastic exit velocities. We talked about him in a preseason episode, I believe it was sleeper hitters, and he had a quad injury that put him on the seven day injury list early on in this season. Looking at the replay of that, we're happy that it's not more than seven days and he's already back to playing games. 20 year old has insane upside and 80 grade power. He hit 31 home runs in 117 games last season. And we even got to see him play in the big leagues for seven games. Gecko Industries tweeted this, from when they started tracking exit velocities, there have only only been eight instances where a 19 or 20 year old has put up a max exit velocity of at least 112 miles per hour and only two instances of a 19 year old doing so. And Caminero did this in only 36 plate appearances. The 20 year olds who did this, Vladdy Jr., Fernando Tatis Jr., Carlos Correa, Ronald Acuna Jr., Juan Soto, and Rafael Devers. Juan Soto was the only other one to do this at 19 years old. That is a pretty great list to put yourself into. Junior Caminero is back doing his thing as he has two home Home runs in 18 at bats so far this season, driven in seven runs and stolen a base. He is the highest upside of the prospects here, besides Paul Skeens for this upcoming season. And again, Skeens was too high rostered to be in this video. And most even casual fans know how good Paul Skeens is. But if you don't, I think Junior Caminero should be right up there in popularity with Paul Skeens, is how good they're going to be. But it seems like Jackson Holiday took that over. Junior Caminero is going to be an awesome player. I mean, no one really running away with the AL Rookie of the Year. If he gets up really soon here, I think there's a chance for that. And you can get that on FanDuel Canada. The next player is James Wood. He is in the national system. He is in AAA right now. James Wood had an incredible spring training. He hit 364, he had an OBP of 509, and a slugging percentage of 700. In the spring, he hit four home runs, and he stole three bases, and he has followed that up by currently leading all qualified AAA hitters with a way to runs created plus of 225, an OBP of 547, while walking at a 22.6% rate. When you look at the big uh, Washington Nationals, prospects, you look at James Wood and you look at Dylan Cruz. And I think based on where they've started them in their system this season, Wood has the quicker shot to the big leagues than Dylan Cruz because Wood is in AAA and Dylan Cruz is sitting in AA. James Wood makes some of the loudest contact I've seen. And he has been able to run a walk rate over 10% at every professional stop he's made. And now, so far this season, it is early, obviously, we're not <laughs> more than 10 games into the minor league season, 20% walk rate compared to a 19% strikeout rate. I will be stashing James Wood. He still has swing and miss in his game, but we can deal with that if he's going to put up a ton of home runs and steal a ton of bases. If you're in a roto league, again, we don't even care about strikeouts. It's the average you care about. At some point, so you get the negative points for strikeouts. So it's a little bit different based on league settings, but the upside is immense. I think he's on the verge of getting called up, and I think at the latest, by June 1st, he will be in the big leagues. The next player is Joey Loperfito. He is an outfielder in the Astros system. As of today, Joey Loperfito leads all of minor league baseball in home runs. Uh, he has 10 home runs in 14 games to start this season. Loperfito has a really interesting skill set as he's going to strike out around 30%, walk around 12%, which seems more normal in the minor leagues than the major leagues. I would like to look up the uh, minor league average and have that for next video, but 12% seems normal when I look at all of the decent hitters and he's going to hit home runs at an incredible rate. The Duke product was a seventh round pick in 2021 and has hit 15 home runs in 46 games in AAA and he had 19 home runs in 84 four double A games. Joey is a solid prospect when it comes to stealing bases as well. He has 20 steals in 84 double A games and right now six steals in his 46 triple A games. When we look at upside for fantasy baseball players, we want either average and steals. That's not as <laughs> lucrative and nice as power average in steals, but power and steals are two things that you really want. And I think Joey Loperfito has that. We can get the average up a little bit, but he's going to hit for a ton of power and he's going to be able to run. The path to playing time isn't great if we're going to be honest. Um, and I think that's an important thing thing to know here but this is a long major league baseball season injuries happen you're not dropping anyone for your team this is a perfect guy to stash in your na slot if you have it so you don't have to worry about dropping a guy to stash him so i will be picking up and stashing joey loperfito if the power continues 
And finally, we end with a Baltimore Oriole. Of course we do. And that is Heston Kirstad. He is an outfielder. Heston Kirstad is a great story of perseverance. Kirstad was a stud when he was at Arkansas, and he ended up getting drafted second overall, but signed for well below slot. They thought he was top 10 guy, not a top two guy, but the Orioles took him. And then he had a heart problem, which kept him out of professional baseball for two seasons. So he comes back, they send him to high A. He struggles at high A uh, when he comes back immediately, but every other stop, he is absolutely raked. Kersad is part of the stacked Orioles prospects just sitting at AAA Norfolk. In 15 games so far this season, he has seven home runs. He's driven in 27 runners and he has an OPS of 1209. If you put him in any other system, he would be the the top prospect just waiting to make a huge impact at the big league level. But instead, you have guys directly in front of him, like Colton Kowser, who finally are getting their shot. And who knows, I think he might have won MLB hitter of the week last week. Uh, and he has a very similar profile just on the outside of Heston Kirstad. I have no idea what the O's are going to do with all their elite prospects. Trading for elite pitching seems to be the most obvious way. But Heston Kirstad is too talented to be in AAA. And that's why I will be stashing him in my NA slots if I have to. I'd probably have him over Lo Profito if I had to rank all the guys I want to stash here. Caminero would be first. Kirsten and Wood are side by side for me and then Lo Profito would be last but this is a great list of awesome prospects. Thank you everyone for watching. This is for prospects to stash for your fantasy baseball teams. Let me know if there's anyone else you think are on the cusp of being called up. I know we got a couple call-ups today especially um, out in Jonathan Class A out in Seattle but I think these guys have a lot more upside than that. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys next time.